Welcome to the Electronic Design Suite from Beechhurst Industries. With this little tutorial, we are going to show you how to manipulate some of the information that's in the file, uh, which is plain text, and we're going to show you how to correct any problems that you might have with the solder mask, specifically. We have a board that's been in production for some number of years, and there have been many rev changes over the years. Early on, this particular board had four very large vias which were not connected to traces, vias or solder rings. And you can see here's the board. And there's four vias which were always open, uh, not covered by a solder mask. And it turns out our board vendor was interpreting these vias as solder rings that we were going to be using. We use them for uh, wire jumpers and uh, the solder mask was clear, but it turns out that in fact the Gerber file was wrong. Because on the Gerber file, it did not have the holes in the solder mask for these four vias. And we discovered this uh, when we made another change on the board and added a small via which intercepted uh, one of the traces and we added that because it turns out we are now at the point where uh, this board comes in two different versions and it involves different components and this allows us to use the same board for first version, uh, both versions. Uh, we just get the right components in the right places. Uh, unfortunately our, pr our prototype boards came back with this one via uh, covered over with the solder mask and in fact the hole was even filled with the solder mask so that made it hard to use. So we opened up the PCB file with our text editor and found the vias and also we looked at one of the elements. Now if with the element there if you look at pin 1 the pin is 29 mils ID and 56 mils OD and the solder mask is 62 mils. That's the hole in the mask. And if you look at the vias in front of the ID, that's all zeros. In other words, no hole in the solder mask. So all we had to do is go in uh, to this particular file and edit uh, the via information to show a hole in the solder mask, which comes just before the uh, via ID and that hole has to be bigger than the OD uh, of the solder ring. So if the first line we see a uh, solder ring uh, of 115 mils and the hole is 120 mils. So you see how easy it is to change this information and we hope you've enjoyed our little tutorial and we thank you very much for stopping by. Have yourself a very good day.